CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration Magandang gabi Pilipinas at sa lahat ng nanonood sa buong mundo. This is CSI Celebrity Style and Inspiration. The Manila Times Entertainment and Lifestyle pages come to life on the Manila Times Digital TV. We are now on our seventh episode and maraming maraming salamat pa rin po sa lahat ng tuloy-tuloy na tumututok sa naiiba naming programa sa digital world. You can still watch our past episodes on the Manila Times TV and CSI Facebook pages and through www.manilatimestv.com. And for the online edition of the oldest and longest-running English newspaper in the Philippines and in Asia, log on to www.manilatimes.net where our daily sections also appear. So for the latest showbiz and lifestyle news, huntahan, Katuwaan sa show, syempre lagi kong kasama sa CSI ang reporter writers natin na sila Isa Alpad and Isa Iglesias. Sa production side naman ay nandyan syempre si Arlo Custodio, ang aming EP with researcher Nika Roque assisting us. To start off, let us take a look at this week's Winners and Downers. Downer ang halos sabay na pagkamatay ng respetadong entertainment editor and columnist na si Aisa Red at ang kilalang direktor na si Mel Chonglo noong September 21. Co-founder at President Emeritus ng Speed or Society of Philippine Entertainment Editor si Aisa na Isagani Vasquez Red ang totoong pangalan. Matagal na siyang entertainment and lifestyle editor ng The Manila Standard hanggang sa kanyang retirement last year. Lumipat siya sa pagsusulat sa Daily Tribune at nagkaroon din ng online show doon titled Talk Patok kasama ang veterano ring entertainment columnist na si June Nardo hanggang sa kanyang pagpanaw. Naisagawa na po ang cremation ng aming kapatid sa industriya noong Wednesday. Ang aming pakikiramay sa mga naiwan ni Aisa at ganun din sa pamilya ni na Direct Mel, pati na rin sa mga naiwan ni Ronnie Tapia na pumanaw rin last week. Si Ronnie naman po o Veronica Tapia ay asawa ng jazz singer na si Richard Merck. Again, CSI extends its deepest sympathies to the bereaved families and condolences also from the Manila Times and the Manila Times TV. Winner naman po ang pagbisita sa The Manila Times offices ng reigning Miss Earth na si Yugen Khan of Vietnam and Miss Philippines Earth 2019, Janelle T. They excitedly talked about their specific environmental advocacies during their courtesy visit with Janelle sharing her thoughts before facing the big competition this year. If it keeps using it, there are the number of them every year will be increasing. And also, I launched the project that they do uh, uh, bringing the clean water to the uh, rural part of uh, Vietnam, their south part of Vietnam. So that's uh, the project that I do in Vietnam. And for the international, uh, besides carrying the message, I also launched in, uh, the program to uh, uh, encourage people to plan more train, less use and plastic. So that's the basic step, but we can make an action to make it work. After your reign, what are your plans? Uh, after my reign, I uh, want to focus more on my study, also spend time to develop the business, the eco-friendly uh, fashion. Mm -hmm. How about me? Uh, any plans after this? If you want to be Siyempre rin po, parang reyna rin ang Chief Operating Officer ng The Manila Times na si Ms. Blanca Mercado sa pag-welcome sa dalawang beauty queens na tuwang-tuwa namang kinuna ng photos ng aming Chief Photographer na si Rene Dilan. Kulang na raw po kay Ms. B ay crown. Downer naman po ang pagkakaaresto sa rapper na si Looney sa drug buy bust operation sa Makati nitong Merkulis. Marlon Pero Ramas in real life 
The rapper was arrested together with four others, including his sister Lisa. Sa report ni John Arcelia ay nangyari ang transaksyon sa basement parking ng Herald Suites Hotel na nakuha sa kanilang sachet of dried leaves suspected to be marijuana, a cell phone and the marked by bust money. They will be charged with violation of Republic Act 9165 or the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. Winner din ang regal movie na ang generasyong sumuku sa love. It tells the story of college friends with different priorities. They encounter different challenges along the way as they move to adulthood. Directed by Jason Polaksamana, this Barcada film stars Tony Labrusca, Jane Oneza, Jerome Ponce, Albi Casino, and Myrtle Serosa. It opens in cinemas nationwide on October 2. Double winner naman ang unang pagsasama sa isang concert ng megastar na si Sharon Coneta at Asia Songbird na si Regine Velasquez. Gaganapin sa Smart Araneta Coliseum ang concert na titled Iconic sa October 18 and 19. In preparation for the much-awaited event, the two award-winning singer-actresses hosted a media conference and shared their mutual admiration for each other what it meant for them to work together, and what their fans can expect from their first ever collaboration. 19 numbers. That doesn't mean 19 songs. No. Because many of those are medley. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we want to you do a duet. Lots. Lots, of course. Madame <laughs> Tita. It's, it's my first ever back-to-back -back with a female oh, okay. co-singer. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we never had a back-to-back -back with oh, a female. For that matter, Martin Lafay. I guess it's Martin Lafay. Martin Lafay. Yeah, Martin Lafay. Yeah, Martin Lafay. Mm -hmm. But uh, first female na back to back. Usually guesting, guesting that. Mm -hmm. So it's very exciting. French na, na ina na ka na ni Ruel. Ano ko? Na ina na ka na ni Ruel. Oh, oh. Oh, I really wish to malaman. Ano yung idea for the two of you to do a concert together? Kami. 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 And why? We've been, and we've why? Been. Eh, ah, as, alam niya naman kung ano yung reason ko kasi nga siyempre idol ko, ba? So parang um, years na I've been wanting to do a concert or kahit guesting man lang sa concert ko. Pero parang parang dati, parang ang hirap-hirap mangyari. Mm -hmm. Hindi, also because we're from different ah, uh, 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 stations. Station, so parang dati, parang siguro dream na lang talaga. Pero but, ako, for years, like ko sila sa Marriage, last year talaga yung nag-usap tayo. Pero last tayo. year yung talagang seryosong mag-usapan natin. Tapos natuhanin na natin. <laughs> hindi ko pa sinasabi sa'yo na I was gonna uh, oh, move back. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh, oh. sinasabi sa kanya kasi hindi pa rin ako sure. <laughs> Pero parang sabi ko, and that's it for our opener this episode. Wag po kayong aalis, magbabalik po ang CSI. The new era of Philippine TV has arrived. And we are here to lead the way. Here to deliver unbiased news. Here to spark fearless conversations. Here to redefine intelligence. Here to spread hope. Here to get your adrenaline pumping. Here to give you an inside look. Here to pay tribute to legends. And here to let your genius shine. At the end of the day, we're not just here to inform. Not just here to entertain. We're here to uplift the Filipino spirit. Manila Times TV, aspirational, inspirational. CSI, celebrity style, inspiration.
You're back on CSI and let's get started on our CSI reports. Siyempre, Tina Pai. Yes po. Oh, iba naman ang look mo today. Last uh-huh. week, ano, okay. nag-trending yata ang Latina dress. May may mang, may bumate. May bumate. Char! Ay, na naman. <laughs> naman ako sa char. Tayong, lagi na lang tayo may kailangan na private talk later. Mm-hmm. So ngayon na lang, ang itatanong ko sa'yo, what's your CSI mm-hmm. report this week? This week po, Miss T, ang bida sa report natin ay Certified Crossover. Find out kung bakit nga ba crossover. Theater, television, and even on a local streaming app, Kim Molina has made a name on all these platforms. Now she is ready to face the biggest screen of all via the movies. As if the challenge and pressure to cross a new platform is not enough, Kim Molina is taking on a role far from her true-to-life persona. The sweet, funny, and unknown to many, laking simbahan Kim Molina is the potty mouth Elsa in the controversial movie Joeable. Here, she questions anything and everything, even asking God in a very straightforward manner why she remains no boyfriend since birth. How did she take on the role? What about her family? Ano reaction nila, especially since they are very religious? At may kilabot ba in questioning God inside the church in that controversial, joable scene? All these and more ay malalaman natin ngayon sa Certified CSI Report ni Christina Alpad. Um, honestly, medyo, medyo natakot po ako kasi both my parents, uh, Catholic po sila. Mm-hmm. Tapos, uh, my dad po kasi, yung lumaki po siya sa simbahan, same as my mom. So, sa ganun po ako rin pinalaki. But at the same time kasi my parents, tulad po nang sabi ko po kanina, I'm just so blessed to have parents na open with whatever decisions that I, I would, you know, make pagtanda ko. Mm-hmm. So, Kumbaga, ganun din po ako ngayon, I guess. Kumbaga, may takot ako. But at the same time, I also want to be um, open when it comes to my sexuality, with everyone's sexuality. So, so may may onting kurot kasi syempre Pilipina pa rin po tayo. Lumaki po tayo ng ganun. Pero at the same time, hindi na rin kasi ganun ng mundo ngayon eh. Kumbaga, walang mangyayari, hindi tayo uusad kung nakatago lang tayo sa isang kurtina. Mm-hmm. So, kumbaga, kung yung kurtinang yon mas madaming kulay, mm-hmm. mas mas magiging maganda yung mga pananaw mo sa, sa mm-hmm. buhay mo. Mm-hmm. May kilabot ba dun sa mismo picture na sa simbahan? Meron. Meron po. Pero kasi yung... Um, ito po lagi po ito tinatanong sa akin kung pareho po yung atake ng Elsa ko sa Joeable po na nagbabayal. Mm-hmm. It's different. Oh. Kumbaga, the way na sinabi ko po yung lines, the way na dinaliver ko, is very different from Jobelins. Kasi bago po tayo maihatid sa simbahan na yung Joeable monologue, may pinagdaanan siya. So, makikita nyo kung bakit ganun yung delivery ko po ng lines. And it's more of the heart of Elsa. So, it's, yeah, so hindi lang po siya yung galit. Kumbaga, kasi pag short, pag viral video po kasi kailangan spot po na eh. Yes. Kasi, hindi lang yung time. Pero dito kasi mararamdaman nyo na hopefully mararamdaman nyo po talaga na kung bakit ba siya ganun. Kung baga, ganun yung sinasabi niya kay, kay Lord. Pero, may hatid eh. May hatid yung galit niya, yung angst niya, yung pinagdadaanan niya. May hatid talaga siya. Ready ba kayo ni Direk or ng production sa magiging reaction ng religious community? Mm-hmm. Doon sa mga, you know, madre, the finger. I guess, when we accepted this project. It was very interesting to learn more about Kim Molina in the, that certified CSI report ni Tina. Mm-hmm. Tina Pai, mm-hmm. talaga bang makikita mo in the way she speaks? And I don't know whether in the way she dresses. Nakita naman namin natin doon. Pero <laughs> hindi kasi lang, she always talks about having a religious family. Yes, diba? So, um... In your conversation with her, and also of course during her press conference, do you know that her upbringing is upbringing niya image of conservative? Oh, what? Cah, kahit yung pag yung pagsarita po niya actually very um uh, paano ba ma hin hin uh-huh. kung wala dun sa character niya tapos very soft spoken and very magalang kahit niya si director hindi po yata na sama sa video na sabi niya sobrang layo kahit siya nagulat dun sa pinakitang character ni Kim nung nandun na sila sa set. But that actually just goes to prove na magaling Very... pong artista talaga si Kim Molina. Mm. Um, maybe minsan din naman po, not to say na ang mga 
artista na nagsimula sa television right away aren't as good. They are yeah. very good. Pero yung training kasi sa teatro, yes. medyo iba yan, di ba? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oo. Can you um, give us a little peek into her theater days? Uh, marami po siyang bit roles, <coughs> pero yung pinakasumikat siya is yung Rock of Ages na alam na alam natin, hit OPM or Original Pinoy Musical based on the songs of Ages. And yung lead role niya na Eileen, yun talaga yung nag-give birth sa kanyang career from crossover, from theater to television. Of course, we already published the story also mm-hmm. of uh, Kim Malina sa pages po natin sa Manila Times Entertainment. And I found it so, uh, parang nakakatuwa naman siya and she's so humble because she was uh, recalling kung paano before she was just really part of yes. an ensemble cast mm-hmm. no? na parang Anya. yung mga Ano yung pelikula niya kasama yung mga sex stars? Um, it's Camp so we, I think two years ago. Uh-oh. Yung um, parang, well, lead role din daw, pero she's sharing the screen with oh, so oh. many stars. Pero she was saying na kahit na pa medyo yung billing naman niya is, is somewhere up the top. Yes. You know, hindi naman sa pinakamataas. But uh, she was saying that of course the production would fawn over yes. the bigger name star. I'm actually guilty of that because we covered that as well nung kanilang press conference mm-hmm. and true enough, ang una namin mga pinuntahan sila, Andy Eigenman, oh, si... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, sila. And ang maganda doon, wala siyang, wala siyang tinatago. She has no qualms yeah. about saying na in the past, you know, uh, pagka-cut na raw po, she'll just go to her cor- little corner, little and... spot in the set at mag... Kakain ng Kakain nuggets na siya, na. ng baon niya yeah. siguro or whatever because she wasn't the mm. main star. Pero ngayon, uh, siya na yung, yung lead star. Uh, at hindi uh, na niya magawa yon happily. Oo, oh, oh, ba uh-huh. And I think uh, what's great also about um, productions these days, movie productions, they're really, really giving. Yung mga talaga namang makikita mo from uh, playing support, whether it's mm-hmm. on stage or in mm-hmm. teleseries, just actually plucking them from yes. those shows deservingly mm-hmm. and then giving them a shot yes. at headlining a movie. A movie. Diba? Ako, for me, that's really how our industry is going to grow. Kasi uh-huh. otherwise, puro na lang pareho ng parehong famous people ang iyong makikita sa big screen. Mm-hmm. Pero tayo, nagkakaroon tayo ng variety. Uh-huh. And may I add po, sabi din mm-hmm. ni director na at least ngayon yung um, movie production um, groups binibigyan na ng talagang spotlight yung mga kakaibang storya din oh. hindi lang yung um, nagsistick tayo sa mga the usual the na storylines o na na parang mga sobrang gandang tao yes. na in love sa sobrang gandang lalaki yes. diba? Tapos, ito ibang iba oh. and also the language which is why kakaiba para kay Kim kasi nga may mura foul words kumbaga yeah. and then the, the beliefs na nagko-contrast dun sa meron yeah. siya personal oh, hopefully naman siguro uh, wala na tayong mga reactions yeah, sa ating sana. mga <laughs> sa mga critics about especially yung pinag-uusapan yeah. na, na she was in church mm-hmm. and then, kasi maybe means and it happens some people yeah. may be feeling so emotional and they ask the heavens, Why? certain questions, yes. diba? At uh, lahat naman po ay tao. And maybe that will give this movie um, mm-hmm. yung realistic na na angle or touch or feel or yeah. whatever and you'd like to call maybe it. maybe we should watch it first before we I-judge give it judge. Oh. Based lang sa trailers oh. or oh. sa mga naunang films. Pero films. sabi mo nga, um, kasi it's still showing, of course, in yes. cinemas now. We have yet to catch it. Although the reviews, Tina pa, you were telling me. Coming in, um, nagkaroon sila ng pre-screening, uh, advanced screening rather, sa UP. Mm-hmm. And ang gaganda ng reviews and everyone, students, lalo yung mga bata, mga bagets, they're saying na, let's give this mo- movie a chance or a shot. Panoorin naman. At saka parang nakaka-relate din. Si yes, <laughs> nakaka-relate. And I think it's also a, a really good thing na naging gradual din yung progression ng career ni Kim. Kim no? yeah. From... Um, from theater, tapos she, she did good there, and then teleserye, napansin siya, and then the movies. The movies. So, di ba, parang yung talent niya, I'm sure, mas nahon, di ba? Mm. Pangalawa, confidence din niya, yes. mas na-build, and then third, you know, parang I love stories na yung successful, yes. like yung success sila, na hindi nila akalain that they would actually mm. have a movie of their own. Mm. Bigla na lang may pili. Uh-huh. And yeah. she deserves it. Sobrang humble na tao in person. Kaya congratulations kay Kim. Yes, and if you still have the chance to watch Jowables, Tina, yes. manood na tayo ng scene. <laughs> That's ha? good. Okay, and there you have the certified CSI report of Tina Pai. We'll be back on the show. Mga isyong pinag-uusapan 
mga palitang laman ng pahayagat. Impormasyong dapat niyong malaman. Tatalakayin, pupusisiin, at hihimayin ni Mario Garcia kasama ang kanyang mga panauhin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! Diba po ang look namin ngayon from how yeah. I started the show because uh, we're doing a special taping para kay Iza and her report kasi nga mag-leave po siya ng ilang araw and you deserve Correct. it naman. Umuulan yeah. mo sa labas kaya kami <laughs> nakajakit. Um, at uh, ang report po niya, itatanong po muna sa kanya. Iza Pai, hindi ka pa on leave uh, kaya kailangan mo pa rin magkwento sa akin. Okay. Ano ba ang CSI report mo before you go on leave? Okay. Misty, yung CSI report ko po for the week is certified beautiful. Ang ganda! <laughs> beautiful. Okay. Certified beautiful nga ba ang report ni Isa? Back in July, Papa Media star Liza Soberano was greeted by her fans with signs and flowers when she came back home to the Philippines after being away from the country for two and a half months. It will be remembered that the 21-year-old actress decided to withdraw from her role as Darna in April due to a fractured index finger she suffered while filming the Fantaseria Bagani in 2018. It then led to her flying to the U.S. to undergo a series of surgeries. As a result, her doctor advised her to take two extra months of rest and was not allowed to engage in sports or any physical activities. Still on the recovery stage, Soberano recently faced the press last week after being named as Jollibee's newest celebrity endorser. According to her, she is just glad that the surgeries are finally done and that she doesn't have to worry about them anymore. She also said that while her Lisbian love team with real life boyfriend Enrique Hill has kept a low profile these past few months since her time in the US, the young actress encouraged her fans not to be disappointed or sad anymore as they will star in another teleserie very soon. More about Liza Soberano's return to the Philippines and to show this in Isa Iglesias certified <coughs> CSI report. How are you now after the, the operation? I'm really, I'm really happy that it's finally done with and I don't have to worry about it anymore and I feel a lot healthier, stronger and parang even more inspired to work harder because um, ever since that injury, parang I, I lost confidence talaga in myself also. A lot of people know that. So now I feel at my 100% best and I'm just excited to start working. Of course, because it's not fully healed yet, so I still have to take it that into consideration. But um, I don't want it to get in the way of everything. Like, parang lagi kung kailang isip, ay hindi kaya ng kadiri kung gawin ko. But of course, since I'm in the stages of healing, palang I have to be a little bit careful. But hopefully, in the future, like I can play volleyball again and I can do outdoor activities like I used. Speaking of work, no, excited na rin kami sa pagbabalik nyo ni ano ni Enrique. Tell us something na kaya mo lang at pwede mo na sabihin about the, the latest projects that you're into with Enrique right now. So, we're, we're, we're gonna be working on a teleserie. Um, we're going to be shooting out of the country. So, I'm really excited for that. And, uh, ang masasabi ko na, of course, lagi namin sinasabi na iba talaga siya. Kasi iba naman talaga. Ibang character siya. But, I feel, I really feel like since coming from Alone Together, we showed more mature characters, of course. Mature pa rin yung characters na portray namin. But this time, I feel like it's going to have like a lighter touch. Um, it's gonna be something fun and something... Uh, we're going to take risks. Something outside of our box. That's okay. what I would say. You've mentioned that the risk is um, staying outside of your box. Um, ngayon na uuso na rin yung ipipare kasi ipipare yung mga artists sa ibang artists. Kayo ba ni Ken? Open din kayo working with other artists as well? Actually, we've always been open to working with other people. Kasi kahit nung um, time namin ni Ken na nagsushoot kami ng 
uh, ng mga movies and teleseries. He was doing movies outside, pero not with other leading women yet. Kasi like, ginawa niya two books, Seven Sundays, which is more family-centric. Um, pero like yun, napag-usapan naman namin yun. We're really open to working with other people. Kasi us as actors, we feel like we grow more when we, when we meet other people too. So I think that's good, like a good breather for us and for our fans as well. Pero of course, hindi mawawala yung list yet. So feeling ko kahit na mag-work kami with other people, there will always be a comeback moment for us. Yes. We will always have movies and tele teleseries after that. And we're back with Isa talking about Liza. Liza. Gusto ko sana <laughs> ipag-rhyme yung Isa at Liza kasi mm. uh, yung mga posts po ni Isa <laughs> lagi, every time that she covers events involving Liza Soberano. Nagpipicture silang dalawa, yes. uh, Isa and Liza. Liza. At uh, lagi namang pumapalo ito yeah. ng mga likes. Ha? Certified, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> like me, Char. Ay, nako. Kamusta naman siya? I mean, you know, she's a, she has been missed in mm -hmm. the business. Talagang uh, naaalala ko nung time na she had to give up Darna. She was, you yes. know, really crying on television mm -hmm. and saying that uh, it was painful for her to do that because yeah. talagang uh, it was one of the, it would have been one of the high points of her career. Mm -hmm. uh, kamusta siya? I mean, being face to face with her, does she look like she's in the peak of health? And masaya ba siya? Masaya siya to be back here in the Philippines, lalo na nung nakaharap yung mga press kasi na-miss niya rin yung mga tao dito sa Philippines po. Sabi niya, hindi pa fully healed yung kanyang index finger na inoperahan. Pero uh, sabi niya, she's in 100% to uh, work back here in the in the showbiz industry kasi na-miss niya din talaga mag-acting and all. Pero may ano pa ba? May, I mean, is there like a cast or a parang whatever ah, wala na supporting siya. Parang, it? Parang ang napansin ko lang, medyo far ako nung napansin ko, parang medyo deformed yung ah, ano talaga. niya. Kasi parang may bakal na sa loob oh, yung oh, kanyang oh. Ano, oh. finger na inoperahan. Pero siguro ang gusto malaman ng mga fans niya is she's in pain or hindi na katulad noon? Hindi na po katulad nung on, sa mga post niya before sa Instagram. Medyo jolly na siya ngayon. Oh, <laughs> siguro hopefully Masaya wala na siyang nararamdaman na mm -hmm. pain pero I'm sure there's something different. Kasi mm -hmm. nga, if you think about it, may bakal na yung uh, loob ng finger mm -hmm. niya. And she looked absolutely divine nung mm -hmm. ABS-CBN ball, ball a couple of correct. weeks ago. Mm -hmm. uh, parang talaga namang back to work, mm -hmm. back to glamour, mm -hmm. and back in Enrique's arms. Yes. Napag-usapan ba niya ang uh, kamusta naman ang, ang time away nila ni Enrique? <coughs> Um, nung nasa US sila, nagpunta sila ng isang uh, music festival eh, before nung operation. So, uh, masaya naman sila during their time sa US. Before nung inoperahan na si uh, Liza, yun yung may time na may nagpost ng video na medyo hindi niya nakilala that time si Enrique Hell nung after nung operation kasi medyo ah, pa siya okay. after. Pero Enrique... Uh, from what you're saying, talagang was beside her yes, beside all Liza. through the ordeal. Yes, yes. Talagang devoted boyfriend yeah. naman. Mm -hmm. ha? Talagang my future. Yes. My promise. At yes. Mukhang my forever <laughs> itong dalawang batang to. And, Did she mm -hmm. uh, talk about, uh, talk a little bit more about the upcoming teleserie with uh, Enrique? Mm -hmm. uh, may teleserie silang parating po. Hindi pa sure kung kailan sila magsastart mag-shoot. Pero may sinabi na possible na maging location nila. It's in Croatia daw po. Talaga? For a teleserie? For a teleserie. Wow. Yeah. Medyo big deal siya kasi sabi nga ni Liza, hindi pa siya napupunta masyado ng mga Pinoy. Hindi pa siya napupunta ng mga mga uh, tao from the TV networks, uh -oh. from the uh -oh. movies. That area, no? That area kasi nga, syempre, medyo um, one of the Exo more exotic yeah. locations, di ba? Pero Saka, maganda yung views daw. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well that's yeah. very interesting mm -hmm. and that's really something to look forward mm -hmm. to. Uh, na makakita naman din tayo here in the Philippines ng ibang bansa naman. Mm -hmm. Habang si Iza naman, next, this week, <laughs> ay nasa ibang lugar. Ay, hindi na natin naalamin, <laughs> baka <laughs> sundan ka ng mga fans mo. <laughs> Pero Iza, enjoy your... Um, your holiday, your leave, yeah. much deserved. And um, you, one week lang naman yan. Week. Thank you for advancing your certified CSI report with us. At uh, we'll see you when you get back. Take care. So good you tayo ulit sa ulan. <laughs> <laughs> Babalik po ang CSI. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. 
CSI Celebrity Style Inspiration Welcome back and you're still watching CSI Celebrity Style and Inspiration. Uh, it's a very special day because we actually have visitors to the studio uh, fresh from their successful stint in Shanghai, China. The all-girl group MNL48 are here with us on CSI today. My question is, um, who does the Filipino translation of the lyrics? Because that's, that's not very easy. Huh? It has to be, um, you know, exacto doon sa melody. So, who's going to do that? There are actually a lot of people who work behind the lyrics for yes. MNL48 and sometimes we also do collaborations. Mm -hmm. The members yes. also try to syllabicate the words. Mm -hmm. We try to help them. So, yeah. quite a lot of you are familiar with Japanese. Uh, mm -hmm. Not really all of us. Not yeah. Meron po kasi kaming half Japanese na members po. Yeah, and sila po yung isa nang ta-translate po ng ilang words dun sa song po namin. Okay. Well, tell me about your experience in China. No? Um, yeah. First of all, uh, how did it all come to be? Paano tayo napunta doon? And, you know, I know it's you're a J-pop group, but you're all Filipinas. And it's yeah. still a proud moment for all of us. Of course, we're very glad that we were able to flaunt our abilities, not just only to our Filipino audiences, but of course, to our international fans. Yes. That's why po, after the Shanghai uh, Asia Festival in Shanghai mm -hmm. happened, uh, we were, our morale and mm -hmm. I think our confidence were Boost. more boosted. Yes. So yeah, we're very glad na nakabag performed po kami internationally. Also, nakabag performed po kami last time, last Bangkok. January, sa Bangkok. Okay. Festival okay. Po also. But nowadays, like, where where can we see you? Like let's say maging J pop fan na rin ako. Uh -huh. Where do I go and see you? Whether it's an online show or probably a live a, 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 a show that you, a regular gig that you have? Yes, but we have yeah, we have live shows po and interactive live po tawag mm -hmm. and nagbo-mall show nagbo-mall shows din po kami and parang nililibot po namin lahat ng mga lugar para makapag-promote po kami ng single po namin mm -hmm. and ano po bang ginagawa natin? Hmm. Shake the Shake the event okay. Handshake event uh -huh. yun po ang madalas namin pinagkakaabalahan mm -hmm. dito So everything ba that you have to do has to be approved by uh, the mother group I mean what if bigla na lang somebody's watching you right now tapos biglang may tumawag sa inyo from one of the networks and said na say, say na can you act in a teleserie or some pwede ba yon actually pwede naman po siguro but yun uh, katulad nga po ng sinabi niyo po lahat po ng mga ginagawa namin uh, pinapaalam po muna sa head yep, yeah, yes po po okay the AKB48 yes. no lahat Tell me, um, at least one of you, how did you get to find out about AKB and what made you, you know, fall in love with the group so much so that you're actually one of them already? Mm -hmm. Technically, the Basis mm -hmm. in the Philippines. Actually, po, in my own experience, po, before, po, nag extra po ako sa mga TV, and then my brother found out na there's a certain station na bubuo po ng girl group. Mm -hmm. And then, yung brother ko pong nag-invite po sa akin. And then, hindi ko po in-expect na papasama po dito kasi nga po, sobrang dami pong applicants. Thousand of applicants applied for this girl group. And luckily, I got to enter MNL48. And hindi po ako nagsisisi because MNL48 is not just a group. Mm -hmm. It is a group with a purpose. We are idol na we are influencing youth to yeah. become... Um, to become an idol, na ano po ang dapat po in the future. That's that's great, no? That uh, you know it's beyond just performing, yes, and that you want to have a positive impact on the youth. But since you're all so pretty, and I'm sure, wala bang male version ng MNL 48 na nakikipag friends naman sa inyo or makakasama nyo at least there's interaction between lovely ladies and maybe some handsome yeah. young gentlemen. So far, there's none. Okay. There's a, a unique idol group. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Even in Japan, there's no counterpart. Uh -huh. 
actually recommend po kasi kami ng dog ban. So, bawal po kami mga Certain protocols. Yes. Yeah. 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 Strict ba na, ha? <laughs> really? Oo. But, but, um, in terms of, of, of having met AKB48, has that already happened for yeah. some of you? Yeah. Oh, oh. How, when and where did you meet them? In what circumstances nangyari yun? Asia, Asia, Asia Fest. Fest. Oh, 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 um, we, uh, we, some of us po, um, Puerto International, where we mingle with our uh, yeah. sister collaborations. Yes. Oh. Oh. So that's and continuous, tuloy yes, tuloy. Yes. Yes. Okay. And of course, our senpai po, it's such an interesting concept yeah. kasi. Yeah. So um and we're glad that we're getting to learn about how it all happened. And yeah. you know, I mean Tama, kailangan naman talaga the whole world, di ba? Uh, why not become closer and yeah. become closer yes. with music? So I guess yeah. at this point, um, the best way to really get to know MNL48 is to hear them sing, no? Because that is really, really the heart and soul of what they do. So um, it is my pleasure to uh, introduce to you once again, singing live here at the Manila Times TV studio, the lovely ladies, the talented Filipina ladies, okay. Deba of MNL for. enjoying our jam-packed show today. Kakatapos lang po ng ating interview and of course the performance of MNL48. Pero syempre, all good things must come to an end. So now we are on our last segment and of course ito po ang CSI Exchange where I have the entire team with me from our EPR Loco Studio. Of course, our lovely researcher, Nika Roque and our 
Reporter writer na si Tina Alpad. Si Latina, Mexican look naman today. We are missing uh, Isa Iglesias, of course, because on leave naman. Siya, mga jet setter po ang aking mga kasamahan. Arlo, how was Indonesia? Oh, it's a fun journey. Fun Actually, journey. Actually, secret ano yan, dream ko na makapunta sa Burubudor and it happened. Oo oh, oh, nga. Thank We're you to so... Manila Times. Yes, Thank you, Tessa. I'm so happy for you, Arlo. And uh, you deserve naman to have a working trip, di ba? Yes. Lalo na bigla po kaming nag-CSI at marami po kaming ginagawa para sa show. So one by one, uh, pasensya na po if nagkukulang-kulang kami. But of course, kailangan din to get out there, di ba? Yes. And enjoy life. And next is... Eh, oh, tomorrow naman. Yes. Siyempre si Nika, magkukruise naman po siya bukas. So lahat sila nakakaalis ako lang huwag hindi <laughs> hey ano na natin anyway eto na surprise ang CSI exchange natin actually simple lang naman siya ang tanong ko lang this week ah uh, ikaw ba mas sa tingin mo maganda na ngayon lang nagkaroon ng collaboration concert ang ating megastar and Asia Songbird or sana ba nangyari siya much earlier? Of course, we're talking about the upcoming concert of Sharon Conetta and Regine Velasquez na sabi nga po ni Ate Shawi ay uh, sold out na po talaga from the platinum seats all the way hanggang dito sabi niya if people are gonna buy tickets, they're really gonna just be in the bleachers. Ganun po kabilis uh, nag-sell out yung dalawang concert dates nila. Arl, but for you, do you think it just happened at the right time or sana noon pa? It's the best time kasi alam naman natin it's millennials time. May mm -hmm. mga sikat na bago. Yes. Siyempre, we have to accept na pa daw yung popularity ng mga Gen Xers. Aha. Uh, di ba? So ngayon, nangyari ito nag-combine sila para tumas ulit yung popularity. Parang babalik ulit, yes. di ba? Of course, because talaga namang sheer talents ang meron sa kanila. And just because you are, you know, parang medyo tumatanda, it doesn't really mean that you don't have a place in the business. We're talking about the megastar, of course, and yeah, Asia, Asia Songbird. So talagang nandiyan sila. Ikaw ni Kapay. Yeah. Ito maganda kasi may mga research siya, pero uh, para <laughs> itest ko lang ho siya. <laughs> Hindi ko sinabi sa kanya. What do you think? Should it have happened earlier or happy ka na na ngayon lang nangyari? Um, I agree po with Sir Arlo na parang best time ngayon kasi ako nga, um, I'm Gen Z na. Pero kilala ko pa din yung... <laughs> Thanks. Yes. Ni Miss Sharon and Miss Regine. So. Buti naman. Siyempre, <laughs> <laughs> diba? Na-hurt naman ako. Okay. <laughs> Gusto mo ba ng sample? Ay, hindi. Okay oh, yes. lang. Hindi. Okay lang. No, pero you know the songs of Sharon yes. and Regine. Oo. Oh, oh. Ano mga favorite songs mo, Nika? Um, I want to cover lang ni Regine, pero siyempre, On the Wings of Love mm -hmm. and Kay Sharon is between walang ning ni diba? mga classics. Ang galing-galing ni Nika. Meron pa rin siya mga insights na gano'n. How about you, Tina? You were, Tina was also with me at the media conference that day, di ba? And jam-pack talaga. Everybody really wanted to see the mega star and the Asia Songbird together on one stage. Prescon pa lang yun. Paano pa? Paano pa pag-concert na mismo. But do you think it happened at the right time? I think, Miss Tien, sobrang fitting yung iconic na title ng concert ngayon. Tsaka... Sakto na eh. Parang ano, napaprove na nila na icon, icon sila ng OBM. Kaya super right time. Oo nga. Ako naman kasi during the media conference, uh, si Regine actually talked about being a fan of Sharon. No? So, ang tawag naman talaga niya kay Ate Shawi ay ate. At uh, syempre, siguro kahit gaano pakagaling si Regine nung una, di ba, I think... All the more for her, maganda ngayon nangyari because yung confidence niya, solid na eh. Regine Velasquez na siya. Eh kung bigla na lang silang pinagsama ng, ng, ano, ng megastar all of a sudden when she was uh, still naman at her peak at the time, maybe hindi as much yung confidence niya. And then also si uh, Ate Shaw is talking about how, uh, you know, they've become friends na din because in the past there wasn't much of an opportunity for them to work together. Kahit gusto man nila, hindi pwede because at the kahit time... Kahit pareho silang viva. Yes, kahit pareho silang viva because at that time, Regine was an ABS, uh, no, a GMA, GMA network talent. And then, of course, si Ate Shawi naman has always been with ABS-CBN. So, gusto man nila before, it wasn't happening. Although, sabi ni Sharon, um, si Ogie daw has been a friend of hers 
for a very long time already and then she's very very happy na ngayon e kaibigan na niya si uh, Regine as well. Oh, de ba? Sobrang kaibigan na doon sa media conference na pag-usapan ng isang singsing na napakalaki raw po ng, ng bato na binigay ni Ate Shawi kay Regine. So, nabig, sabi naman ni Regine na bigyan daw po siya ng problema ni Ate Shawi. At ano naman daw ang regalong ibabalik mo pag binigyan ka ng ganon? But then, sabi naman ni Ate Shawi, um, you know, she's not after a gift or anything in return. Hug na lang. Hug na lang. Hug na lang pagkaganon no so um definitely uh, that is a mo this will be an opm moment no yes. uh, isa sa mga hindi natin siguradong makakalimutan na pagsasama ng dalawang ex you know excellent talent superstars really of of original filipino music and uh, we're very happy we were able to cover that um parang di ba first First ever. First ever na pagsasama nila. So, uh, salamat po, of course, to their publicist, Tracy June Lali, ng ating kaibigan, for uh, welcoming uh, both the Manila Times and, of course, CSI uh, to the media conference. Baka, we're hoping, kasi we were really trying to have a uh, one-on-one -on -one with uh, one and dalo sila, uh, with Ati Shawi and Regine before that. Pero, uh, sobrang daming tao at that time. So, Maybe we'll see. We'll see if Exclusive we're trying to say. we're we're trying to work it out. Wala pa pong promise, but I'm really really crossing my fingers that before before the uh, the concert, okay. magawa natin yeah. yan ulit. So actually, nakikita ko as of this time after Manila. Cebu yan, may Davao yan, may oh, LA yan, may New yes. York yan. Oo nga, gano'n naman talagang nangyayari ngayon sa mga concerts eh. So, uh, if you still can, um, konting ticket na lang daw po ang natitira. Iconic happens on October 18 and 19. Kung makakanood tayo guys, manood tayo. <laughs> Wala naman, manood tayo. But uh, kung hindi naman, hindi, sana makanood tayo. <laughs> so that's it po for CSI Exchange. And there you have the seventh episode of CSI, Celebrity Style and Inspiration. The entertainment and lifestyle pages of the Manila Times come to life on the Manila Times TV. Sana po nag-enjoy po kayo sa aming programa. And uh, syempre, nag-discuss kami kanina, seventh episode na po namin. Uh, sana, eh, lucky seven. Pero sabi naman ni Arlo, yung next one, Lucky eight. Lucky eight okay. naman. So, si eh. Pero, so lahat na lang lucky. <laughs> I love you, lucky. Ay, hindi. <laughs> si Ate B pala yun. But thank you very much, of course, to my hardworking team. Arlo, Tina, si Iza rin. Diba, nagulat kayo. Meron pa rin kami sa kanyang clip, even if she's on even. Of course, Nika. And of course, our technical team. Um, nandyan po sila sa harap ko. I wish I could show them to you. Ay, kumakaway na po si, Je si Nathan, <laughs> Jesse, Jesse Jello Jim, and of course, ang pinakabata naming bagong dati. <laughs> Deng, de ba? Ano pa alam ni Kuya? At sa mga Kuya Ricky, de ba? Ayan, Kuya Ricky, welcome to the show. And make sure to click us again next week. See you, CSIers. Good evening and bye. I, celebrity style inspiration.